Naomi Eisted here. Welcome to my home. So come in and let's have a little look around. I plan everything. Yeah. So I plan in my head, like we would do with interiors with our interior clients. 
Um, for the kitchen, it's, it's a light blue. My study is pink, whites and greys. The lounge is uh, white, navy, and it's got an accent of gold or rose gold. So and how do you pick those colour palettes? Is that just a preference? Do you do it by trends? Do you do it on the layout of the room? It's kind of a bit of everything. Yeah? Yeah, a bit of everything. I must say, with obviously blue being the interiors colour this year, yeah. I was like, I've never done blue before. Oh my gosh, I'm doing blue. And I've gone so blue, because the kitchen is all blue. It's, but it's lovely. Um, <laughs> I mean, you've got the deep navy in here. Deep navy. The more duck egg blue in yeah, the kitchen. In the but kitchen. It's beautiful. And, a, and contrasting and playing around, I feel like if you, it's too matchy-matchy, it's not cool. Yeah. So just play around. Like I always say with fashion as well, play around with clashing and colours and stuff. So mm. I've got gold and rose gold in here, which you wouldn't normally necessarily put together, but it actually looks pretty cool. It looks great. Oh, thank you. And what made you go for the Sofa Club Chigwell sofa range? Because it, it is perfectly suited to this room. It is it? perfect. But why the Chigwell? Well, I think with the Chigwell, it's it's got the kind of, for me personally, the trendiest, the sleekest, most modern look to it. Mm -hmm. But I also like the colour. So I think with the colour, this ash, this light ash colour, I think this is a great colour to, if you invest in a sofa like this, it also means that you can change your furnishings. So at the moment I've gone navy, but yeah. next, in six months time, if I'm bored, it's very affordable for me to then go for like, Green, absolutely. A green detail and gold. This ash grey goes with sort of so many colours, doesn't so it? So many colours. Well, it yeah. goes with everything. It yeah. really goes with everything. And I think it also looks. It just looks really sleek. It does. I obviously, like that sleek look. Yeah, no, it looks <laughs> great. And if our viewers maybe wanted to replicate your home style, yeah. they're loving this look. Mm -hmm. Where do you tend to shop? Sort of, where are your favourite home decor stores? Oh well, to be honest, I think my interior style is very much like my fashion style. Yeah. So I like to mix and match. I'd never buy everything from one store. Mm -hmm. So I love, personally, I love uh, HomeSense. I buy a lot from HomeSense. I love the range, so that um, throat is from the range. Yeah. Um, these gorgeous um, sheepskin, this, and these Beautiful. little cushions. They're lovely. Um, they're from Brand Alley. Yeah. Love Brand Alley. Actually, the works Brand Alley as well. Yeah. And then I also like to support like smaller businesses, smaller brands. So this Ink and Drop is a print company, which I absolutely love, because I just think that then, you can affordably have yeah. what looks like really expensive art. Mm -hmm. um, and also candles. I mean, if you've noticed, I've got millions of candles in this house. You can't have enough candles <laughs> though, can you, in no. a house? They're lovely. So, so where are these ones So from? these are Sedgley. They're, it's actually a local uh, lady, okay. and the story's beautiful. So it's six different candles, mm -hmm. and it's for a member of her siblings. Oh, that's um, lovely. And they've all got different scents, they're all in different colour. So yeah, I love details of, definitely scents. I think a scent is so important in a yeah. house. A lovely scent. You don't want to, if you've got dogs or you've got cats or animals, you don't want anyone to ever walk in and smell like animals or you know it's really nice to have beautiful scents I've got diffusers as well another brand I really like is Laura Ashley yeah but I wouldn't necessarily buy my bigger furniture from Laura Ashley so I'd go for the smaller details like diffusers okay hand washes candles yeah. maybe light shades that kind of thing going back to what you were saying so with your fashion you are great at mixing and matching, so you can you can wear sort of pricier labels yes. and also high street. 100%. So with your home, what do you feel you can do on a budget, and then other things you need to do a little bit, bit more expensive? I personally think that when you're planning any room, you should actually do it just like I do with fashion. Mm -hmm. You should put a to do a shopping list yeah. of what you want, then think of the colours that you want to go with. Mm -hmm. From there, you then start looking around. Never buy the first thing that you see. I'd never buy the first thing I see. And I do a lot of online shopping so that then I can kind of like mood board it. Yeah. So I can go, oh, that sofa with those cushions. Mood oh, boards wow. are such a good idea, Amazing. aren't they? So good. And then you can actually really get into it and get really creative with it. But I think um, I would definitely, I tend to mix and match between kind of the higher end brands. Mm -hmm. So what I tend to do would be like affordable luxury. So I like it to look amazing, yeah. but not to spend a fortune because I've got kids at the end of the day. Yeah, that's so, the other thing, isn't it? So it's really important. And I do like changing the look of rooms mm -hmm. quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to spend loads on furniture. So maybe like beds and things, I'll invest more in furniture. Mm -hmm. And then furnishings, I will you mix and match. Yeah, you yeah. can be quirky. So even like brands like Brand Alley, it's great because you can get um, designer brands on a discount. Yeah. Which I love. I love. <laughs> Daddy's a great one, yeah. isn't it? And the range, I love the range. So I've got lots of details from the range, but then I'll mix that with like Laura Ashley, Home Sense. I just mix it up all love the time. That. And I think that's the most important thing. Don't when you see a sofa um, in a shop, don't just buy that straight away. Because especially if you went onto the sofa club, you could see something similar and go, oh wow. And get it for yeah. such a good price. Such a good price. Yeah. yeah. And if you had to pick one room which was your favourite room in the house, 
Which would it be? Oh my gosh, I, I, so I, love, love I, know, I love the kitchen, I love the lounge, I love my little study. If you had to pick one though. Um, the kitchen. The kitchen is nice, isn't it? The, well, it's where we spend most of our time with kids. Do you? Yeah. And do the kids love the new house? They absolutely love it. Good. They love it. Good. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us thank and featuring on the, through the keyhole. It's been oh, absolutely so lovely. Yeah, no, thank you so much.